The Lumionix Comet is an upcoming on-camera device with a built-in ambient light and sound sensor that can be used for HDR, flash and high-speed photography, but also advanced time-lapsing such as day-to-night shooting. Additionally, the device can save GPS info and can back up files to a hard drive via USB-C. It's compatible with Sony Alpha, Canon and Nikon cameras and can also be controlled via mobile app. Since we are rather filmmakers than photographers, the time-lapse feature is certainly the main reason why we decided to test this device. Over the past decade, we shot a lot of professional time-lapse projects with all types of cameras, triggers and motion devices. While any camera can shoot time-lapse these days without needing an external intervalometer, it can still be tricky to get good results when trying to capture night-to-day or day-to-night sequences with extreme changes in exposure. To make this easier and also faster to set up, the Comet TR has a variety of options to tune the time-lapse settings. There's a dedicated Holy Grail mode that allows for a start and end setting of shutter and ISO. The initial shutter speed can simply be selected in the menu, just like the final shutter speed. Duration, frame rate and playtime will also be displayed to get a better sense of what the final output will be. There are further settings like shutter keyframe duration to be able to shoot a variable speed time-lapse. Additional modes include bulb exposure ramping and aperture ramping. The device is equipped with two USB-C ports, one for firmware updates, the other one for charging and camera connectivity. On the top is a bright AMOLED touchscreen and on the back an SD card slot to backup images. Below is a button to unlock the hot shoe to avoid an accidental loosening of the device when being mounted on a camera. The Comet is compatible with a variety of Sony Alpha cameras, but also Canon and Nikon DSLRs and can be mounted on to the camera's hot shoe. For our tests, we used the Canon 5D Mark IV. The camera needs to be connected via USB first before turning it on for the Comet to recognize the specific model. Once the device has booted, it will display a green dot to indicate the recognition of the camera. The interface displays the main features and modes on the home screen. With the current firmware, this includes time-lapse, high-speed, flash and file. In high-speed mode, photo capturing can be triggered by sound or ambient light. Both modes need a reference first to measure the audio or light and after activating these features, it will trigger each time there is a loud noise or a bright light. The company also offers a compact flash receiver called Comet RC that is compatible with Canon E-TTL and Nikon I-TTL flashes. Especially useful for our types of shoots is the ND calculator, which will measure which exposure is needed when selecting a specific filter strength. Besides using the TR's touchscreen to adjust all settings, it also can be remotely controlled via mobile app. The user interface looks similar, which makes it easy to adjust settings quickly. Also, it's not necessary to use the app. It can be quite handy if the camera is mounted somewhere not easily accessible, but especially when not wanting to touch the camera when shooting long exposure photography. Additionally, the app also supports live view from the camera and access to the image gallery. 
Being able to back up files in the field or directly after a shoot without needing a laptop is one of the biggest advantages of the Comet TR. For our tests, we connected an SSD via USB-C and simply plugged the camera SD card into the slot on the back of the device. The Comet screen will then show the copying status with time and number of transferred files. I think it's important to mention the user interface and AMOLED touchscreen, which are well executed. And that says a lot considering that this is still a beta firmware. Even though we have mainly used the holy grail time-lapse mode and the backup function, I personally think the Lumionix Comet does a pretty good job at the modes that we have tested so far. This could be a good fit for beginners and enthusiast photographers who want to get better results without needing to spend too much time on technicalities. Even for professional time-lapse shooters, this could prove useful since the device allows for more precise exposure settings. If you want to find out more about the Comet Trigger device, there's a Kickstarter project up now where you can also check out all of the features in detail.